Hey guys, welcome back to part two. We actually had a uh, had some interesting stuff going on with a poly rhythmic new instrument. Let's see if we can continue with the new bass plugin. Here we are, so we're at Max for Live. Let's get this new bass Max for Live plugin and have a closer look at it. And we'll work our way down the categories into the places. And we'll have a look at this down here in the groove pool. So let's get started. We're just going to start with drawing a, a note in the C, C minor scale, C4. And we're just going to legato that to make it long. Be elongated, and we're going to combine that. We're doing Command J or Alt J. All right, now we can do Alt L or Alt Command L to loop that. Really fun tip I just found out actually is if you get the LFO Max for Live tool, which is actually now in Audio Effects Modulators LFO. If we just drag this one and we actually click Map, we can map the LFO to a certain parameter, and you see it will automate by itself. And then we can change the amount that of the minimum and the maximum of the mapping. a bit more movement. And what we can do is we can add more LFOs and map them to different points, such as the cutoff. Filter cut off. Nice. Volume modulation. Pulse width. the bass instrument summed up and we're going to work our way down to plugins so we can get things like serum and Hellman your your Roland stuff and any kind of you know vital any plugins synthesizers external stuff here we have the clips menu where this actually looks quite new you can actually drag in MIDI and it will make make like an instrument that you can play with. So let's have a look at that. Wow. Spirit percussion. And I guess you can look at that as MIDI and it's pretty interesting. track so yeah, that's super useful and you just quickly build tracks really fun just dragging them in and uh, quickly building like kind of break beat you I had the trip hop clip the spirit Percussion at 104 BPM, sped up to 134, and then I think I had one of these chords. This one. For a bit of emotion. And then 
and that was just three quick components where we can and to make that more interesting we could use an EQ so if we just type in anything we can go to all results then EQ8 and we can just do a, a shelf a low pass Clearing out the low end for the um, cool, and that's that. And if your CPU is ever struggling, you can just right click, freeze track, flatten, and then that'll turn it to audio, and it'll be a lot less strain on your laptop or MacBook or PC or whatever you've got. So just right click on the MIDI, flatten it into audio and this will save space. But make sure you do this after you've made all your changes because you can't go back and edit this unless you use the Alt Z or Command Z undo shortcut or undo it from the uh, file up here or edit, sorry. can handle it a bit better now which is great we've got our audio which is cool and that actually turns all it converts all the audio effects into the sample so now this is low pass and then with this quite heavy on the bass again so we could and we're making music very quickly using the clips function I, I actually love that so let's delete all of this and we'll right click here and then we can insert new audio track and we can move on to samples which is you know you've got your one shots and your loops and stuff so we can quickly make beats with this as well Again, we can use the search feature, just quickly find a kick and layer that underneath. Um, and then we can just duplicate the one shot across using Alt D or Command D. Just quickly make a song. Again, you can just go clap, get 909 in there, have a little zoom in, wash. this sounds very Kanye West I'm a fan could layer up some claps give more texture and punch Just the volume. Amazing. Now we've got a kind of pop hit, you know, going on there, cool groove. Um, here we've got our groove pull, so we can actually drag grooves onto things and it will affect the, the timing and the movement and the velocity and uh, let's see, random. So yeah, it sounds good. And you've got your global groove amount, which can go up above 100% now, which is good. But I'm not sure if you did that before, I think that's new. So yeah, good fun, and you get your grooves, which you can just highlight and drag on to stuff. and then you can just do alt t or command t for a new audio track and now we've got templates which is a new thing you can actually save templates into your ableton which i'm really excited for i've got a few templates i'd like to save into here save a new template just go live preferences and then 
have a look through here. Where is the template? So Moved it, but we'll look at that later. But yeah, you can just have templates, drag them into here. So, if I wanted to save a new template, we'll look at that later. Now we're going to move on to places. So we've actually got sample packs. You can drag sample packs into here. Um, you just get them online or from MusicWorkflowAcademy.com, which is uh, my website. You can go check it out. And there's loads of great sample packs on there. We're currently growing our. Um, sample market and getting more sound designers on board to make some cool samples for you guys, for you to use. We've got a lot of free downloads on there. We're working on a lot more free stuff. So one of the sound packs we've got on there is the space pack. Where you can just quickly chop this up and make a song with it. If we just, you know, go into the pack. Turn warp mode off. So let's just um, chop this up. Give it a quick chop. Great. I'll be making more sample packs soon as well. So let's chop it up because we we don't want to just get something out of a sample pack. We want to make it our own, so we're just doing that now. Um, move that over there. Happy days. So you can quickly get kind of industrial sounding track very quickly, which is what Ableton's all about. So awesome. Um, this is the area where you can drag audio effects in, so you've seen me do that, you know, we can get an audio effect like LFO and drag that into here, it says drop audio effects here, this reads left to right, it's uh, it's like a rack, and you can download stuff in there, and then uh, you've got your return tracks, you can have up to like 24 return tracks, you can have loads of uh, audio and MIDI tracks, you know, I think it's infinite maybe, and you've got your master volume, which I like to have at minus 6 dB to avoid clipping, and get it ready for the master if it's a bit of headroom, but we'll talk about that later. You've got your audition volume here, where this is the volume that samples will be played out. So your audition volume. Let's have a... Nice. And, you know, you've got your channels. Uh, you can solo reverb and stuff now, which is cool. New post or pre, that's new, that's fun. And, yeah, that's basically the MIDI... Yeah, the uh, audio interface part two summed up. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one where we'll be looking at stuff in more detail. Thank you.